In today's video, Bunch X Nasty, we are talking about some concepts uh, for just utilizing the Bunch X Nasty offense. Guys, we've been doing kind of a couple videos here on just the different ins and outs of how to run the Bunch X Nasty scheme. And so today we're going to be taking a look at another one of my favorite passing concepts out of this. If you guys uh, are enjoying the series, consider joining the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and you can get access to all um, of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks by becoming a Patreon member today. The link is going to be down in the description. So today we're talking about this play, uh, PA Post Dig. And there's a lot that you can do with this play. Um, one of the things that is, I will say, pretty cool about the Bunch X Nasty is that you have a lot of really, really good and effective deep post route style of, of route. So you have PA Post Dig. You have, um, where was it at here? PA Post Curl Shot. You have... Um, Where's it at? Uh, fine. PA cross here. You have a lot of different types of deep post routes. Okay. Um, so we're going to utilize PA post dig. And you also have a lot of play action plays, which is really good um, because it can help pick up, uh, pick up different types of problematic pass pro. So uh, with that being said, my favorite way to set this up is kind of a, a, a pretty cool little slant post concept. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, streak our slot receiver. We're going to run this with our bunch to the wide side of the field. We're going to streak our slot receiver. We're going to slay it, Gronkowski. And then we are going to, you can either, if you don't have a uh, slot apprentice or Howard Master, you can leave this little kind of weird in route. You could put him on a smart routed in route, or you could put him on a slot apprentice post. My favorite is to put him on the slot apprentice post. Okay. So what you're going to see is we have slant post. So against man to man, we're going to have pretty good success rate. Um, the the slant or the post should get open um, against man to man. You also have this deep post route. This deep post route to me is one of the most important routes in the game this year for giving you some big play potential, whether it be against zone or man, as you see right there, able to get over the top of the man coverage. Now, if it's a true, like, like in this scenario right here, like it's kind of a true man coverage. If I know that it's a true man coverage, I might not put that guy deep because it's going to be kind of putting him in conflict. You'll see here that you'll still be able to hit this over the top. Um, but, you know, again, the deep the deep uh, streak does clear out pretty much every zone, uh, which is helpful. Um, then you have your tight end on the slant right there, as you can see, coming over the middle and able to attack main cover. So you have a lot of options um, on this play, specifically as it pertains to, to man coverage like you should be able to pretty easily attack man um sometimes that tight end will get caught up in the line of scrimmage but generally speaking you're going to be fine a lot of people are going to run either three three cub or dollar so let's say for example they run three three cub the beauty of play action is it should help you pick up this blitz so you'll see here able to pick up the blitz well of course i get an instant shed but the tight end was wide open every you had pretty much everything open there so that's the idea. This is really e a really good route combo uh, for man to man, like really good. I don't know why I'm getting instant shedded though on that left side, but that's just practice mode, I guess. But anyway, um, and again, if they let's say they did something like this, this will probably help us a little bit. But but basically, the idea here is you have play action blocking to pick up the blitz and then you're gonna make a quick read over the, over the middle if they do blitz you. Now, another type of pressure that you're gonna get, um, and I'm just gonna illustrate it by just use, using, um, just user moving these guys out, but you're gonna get some variation of this right here, like a dollar style defense, okay? So if you get something like this, then again, you your play action should pick it up and this post route in the middle of the field should be wide open for you. Um, now, there's so much that I could talk about in terms of building around this post route. Like, I'll give you another example of, of something else we could do with this play. Um, and that is essentially, we're going to streak our tight end now. And we're going to, we're going to, actually, no, we're not. We're going to do this. And then when we motion him, we're going to snap it like that so that it's almost like a trail concept. And then you have that. The, the the drag the slant and then you have that deep post over the middle of the field so those are some cool stuff now let's get into why this play is really good against zone coverage okay so and again it can be zone out of dollar it can be zone out of anything 
okay? This play is really good against zone, and the reason why is because this deep post route should pretty much bomb every zone coverage in the game, as you can see. Um, of course, I say that. But, again, it does depend a little bit, like... It does depend a little bit on if they are able to, like, are they bringing their safeties down or not? Are they rotating coverage? Like, for example, you know, are they running a cover three cloud or are they running more of a cover three buzz, you know, or a cover three sky? Those are all like kind of questions. But by and large, this should pretty much cook zone if you freeform it up and to the space that is open on the field, just like that right there, there's that little pocket that you can hit it. Now, there's another window that you can hit this play against zone that I did want to quickly point out because um, I do think it's important. It's actually a really important window. Let's say that they go user of the tight end route, okay? You can throw this right here and ag it in front of that inside third defender. So you do have the ability to do that as well. Um, let's talk about cover four real quick. So uh, if they run, if they run, um, of course, I don't have cover four. I'm going to have to go grab it. If they run cover four on you, uh, you do want to be prepared for that. And I'll show you uh, what this play can do against cover four. For some reason, it's like the hardest play to find in bunch X nasty. But anyways. So here's cover four. So you'll see, watch that. Because this route breaks a little deeper, you see there that the safety is able to play it. So what you can do against, uh, and then you can do this against cover three as well, but you can smart route this route to Cromartie. And when you smart route the route to Cromartie, he'll cross a little faster. So if you have time, you'll be able to hit it. Now, again, we have a lot of other stuff on this play. So it's not just that route like you have the slant route if they don't if they go to use the slant then you can highball this you know so you've got stuff on this play that is going to help you if the bomb is not there but you also if they are dropping everybody back in coverage as a late read this post route can be pretty lethal against zone coverage so you see wait for it he crosses there it is reform left you know and then you've got yourself in a position now right there what i would want to do is i would want to catch that kind of agging back to the ball um, you know, that's there's certain ways to user catch in this game where if you ag back to the ball, it's a little bit more helpful. Um, so here you see, there it is. There's a cover four beater. And that's kind of what it's supposed to look like. Now, um, cover two is a little bit of a different beast, honestly. Um, typically in cover two, they're not going to have a mid read on the field. Okay. So I'm going to put them in a spy. That will allow these vertical hooks to match so the vertical hooks will play some kind of variation of different matching but what you'll see here is the deep half can get there he from a sideline perspective he'll play the sideline of the play so what you want to do um when you run this is you want to kind of throw it the way you want to throw the route okay is you want to throw it with a free form upfield not sideways so he's going to break you want to free form up into the right kind of almost because if you try to freeform it sideways, it's really not there. A lot of people run cover two, or um, a lot of people are not going to run cover two. They're going to run something like this. So if they run something like this, where you know it's kind of a rolled cover three almost, really more so. If they do something like this, then you've got a pretty decent shot. So you'll see here again, I'm getting screamed at by a send two. But you see now we're in, back in that kind of cover three cloud style of coverage um, that is really, 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 really popular. Now, again, just for sake of illustration here, because you can't even contain people anymore in this game, um, something like this. Watch Boletnikov. You'll see he'll cut, and then he just kind of gets behind the coverage for a big play. Okay? So that is this play out of Bunch X Nasty, one of my favorite passing concepts in the game, able to give you the ability to really beat a lot of zone deep down the field for big plays. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get better at Madden, make sure you join the Patreon. Ten bucks get you access to all my eBooks. Over twenty-five eBooks we've dropped this year. Um, so if you want to get better, take your game to the next level. Head down to the description and go click the link down below.